Hi everyone, um, so me again, uh, so we had a bit of a package turn up while I was away, uh, back at home for a little bit, um, so what I've got is um, again uh, supplied from uh, Kickass 12 volt direct, um, so the first one is the uh, little projector which is a 25 amp um, DC to DC charger um, also with a built-in MWPT uh, solar rig. So this is the quick connect. Um, so normal little projector, 25 amp, righto, and then it comes already supplied uh, with the Anderson plug. So it's sort of plug and play little unit. Um, so obviously the top one there is the output. All right, so that's going into your auxiliary battery. The other grey plug there. Is the alternate in um, or alternator, right? And generally that'll come off your crank battery or whatever your setup will be. So basically that's power in. The other white grey one is power out, right? And then the black one that you see is uh, for you connect your solar, okay? So into the MWPT solar rig that's inside um, the little DC to DC charger. Now the black one there is obviously just so you can tell them apart so you don't mix them up so you know that's your solar. All right. The black plugs are basically in, uh, operable with the grey. Right. And then you get all the other colours, so you know, your reds, your yellows, your greens. All right. So, however, um, they're not uh, interoperable with the uh, greys or the black. Okay. So if you've got a red one, it's got to go red on red, green on green, yellow on yellow, uh, blue on blue. All right. Um, now, the other two little uh, wires that you see, right, the pink one, right, that's if you want to run a little LED light, okay, so you might, you know, protrude that externally where you can see it, okay, so you know what st state of charge um, that the unit may be in, alright, um, and the other one uh, is for the ignition, okay, so um, that's for if you have a vehicle with a, basically with a, uh, a smart alternator. Okay, so you need to connect that uh, back to the ignition in the vehicle. All right, I, I won't need to do that. Um, uh, and the other one is your heat sensor. Okay, uh, this one comes with a with a ring on it, righto, and you can connect that to the negative wire onto the battery that you're charging, righto, and the uh, little DC to DC uh, will either slow uh, slow down or decrease the amount of amps that it's uh, or volts that it's putting into the to the battery, right? So it doesn't uh, overheat, all right. Um, so that that's a good item there. Um, you get a few zip ties with it. Obviously, you get a manual. And the other thing that comes with it too, though, which I thought was pretty good, is you get some extra uh, heat shrink, right? And there's also um, some connectors in there, so the little silver ones uh, for the uh, eight BNS. Uh, sort of cable that's sort of supplied in this kit anyway and then you get some smaller ones as well which is just those little ones that you crimp right um, to extend out uh, either the blue wire okay or the pink LED wire depending on what sort of vehicle you have whether you have the smart alternator or not um, now the unit does have um, a selection on there as well so you can select uh, between gel, AGM, wet and calcium um, so this one is not for your uh, for your lithiums, all right. And then the other one is just a charging LED, um, a solar LED, and then uh, the alternator uh, light as well, all right. And you go through your manual there, and it tells you, you know, the different combinations of flashing lights, etc., etc., right, and obviously how to install it. All right. Now this gives, goes through the long version of it, basically, um, because it doesn't allow for obviously this, which is a quick connect, right. So this will. The manual will go through and will tell you, you know, what wire goes where. But obviously, if you've got the quick connect, right, then it's pretty simple. It's all tagged there for you, ready to go, and it's just a plug and play. All right. The other thing I got with mine was um, basically uh, like a towing extension kit as well. So again, uh, zip ties, right, for you know, zip tying the chassis rails if you're um, if that's what you're doing. Um, you get. Six meters of eight BNS cable. Already got the uh, Anderson plug crimped onto that end, and then for obviously reason 
for uh, for running it. Right, this one just has the, obviously the Anderson uh, plugs on it. Right, ready to go into the Anderson plug. Right, this makes it easier then to pass that through. You know, you might be going through holes in the chassis and then running inside the chassis or you know, whatever you may may do. You might try and have to get that through a grommet into the back of the ute, um, etc. For the open end, that's not connected to the battery, okay, so where basically uh, it may connect between a vehicle and a trailer. So you get a little cover there just to keep the rubbish and um, water and that out of the Anderson plug. In the little bag here, obviously you've got your ring connectors to go onto your battery at the uh, at the terminal end, right? And you can also get an extra 80 amp uh, blade fuse there. So you basically you got a whole complete spare Anderson plug, your connectors for your battery posts, righto, and your spare fuse. So the other part of that is which will come from the DC to DC onto your auxiliary battery or the battery you're charging from the DC to DC. Inside there's another 80 amp blade fuse. Already comes with ring connectors, right? And heat shrink on them already. And obviously at the other end is your Anderson plug. Okay, so for my particular setup, uh, what I've purchased mine for is I've got an auxiliary battery already running in the back of my ute, um, which is obviously being charged from the crank battery. It has a, uh, a DC to DC charger, 25 amp, already on it. So my plan is, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna plug the six metre cord into that battery box, which is a kick-ass battery box, right, into one of the Anderson outlets. Right, so it's just coming straight off the battery. It's got nothing to do with the other DC to DC. That DC to DC is there to simply, obviously, charge my auxiliary battery in the back of the ute. I'll just come off as if I was plugging a fridge in. I've already placed the line in uh, from that battery box to the rear uh, tow bar with an Anderson plug and a cover. This line here will run from that Anderson plug through the chassis in my little Jayco Hawk uh, camp trailer. Run into the cavity at the rear of the uh, little camper trailer, uh, into the battery cavity, and then obviously it will then plug into the DC to DC input. Output will then go to the fuse line, right out and onto my battery uh, that is inside the camp trailer. Um, so yeah, basically that's the plan. Um, this is all 8 BNS, so yeah, it's nice heavy wire, uh, pretty good. Obviously if you're going to zip tie the chassis and that, all right, it, it is sheathed, uh, but probably a good idea to run that, uh, cover that in some conduit as well. Um, I'm going to put conduit at the start and the finish, so where they're exposed, the rest of this line will be uh, inside the uh, uh, chassis rail of the camper trailer, all right? And it's like I said, it's already sheathed, so that'll be fine in there. I'll just conduit it um, at the start and at the finish where it's uh, exposed, you know, where it might be uh, you know, hit by rocks and that sort of thing. Um, but other than that, yeah, uh, it's all good. So a little bit of work ahead of me. Thanks very much. Bye.